I think sometimes my pod makes think I'm a bit slow. And why is that? Oh, camera's over here. Abby is up all night studying, keeping us up. And honestly, it's no wonder. She's dumber than two bricks. But I just need my beauty rest. Sophie needs all the beauty sleep she can get, so she can keep complaining all she wants. But these lights are staying on. Honestly, Bella never shuts up about her boyfriend. And at this point, I don't even know if he's real because I've never seen a picture. <laughs> Sophie, <laughs> get down from the dress. You've been up there for two hours. Staying up here until I feel fully supported. Ah! <laughs> I'm telling the RA. I put your normal roommate every year, but I never get it. <laughs> they just don't understand where I come from. Daddy's nice to me, and mommy treats me with nothing but kindness. And then I come to this university, and they treat me like trash. Like the other day, <laughs> the other day, I was laying in her room on my phone playing videos loudly, and she told me to leave. But like, your space is supposed to be my space because I deserve it. So I just, I just can't with them anymore. Unreasonable, but it was three in the morning. I still went bed to sleep. I mean, she did say like I didn't understand where she came come from, but I'm pretty sure I'm a visible man, are you? I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're recording. Um. Oh, oh, we're talking about Abby and Sophie. Yeah, they um. I don't really pay attention to them, like, I don't know what they're talking about half the time. All they do is say Florenceville and Woodst like, Woodstock, like, are those even real places? Like, I've never heard of them. I don't even think they're on the map, but even if they were, who would ever live there? It sounds like some hillbilly town. And Florenceville and Woodstock. And at first I didn't believe her, but I honestly do think that she's completely oblivious because she walked outside and was shocked that the dirt here was brown. I'm pretty sure that's what she used to dye her hair. Like, I think in PEI yeah, they call that dirty blonde. Sometimes it sucks being a science student because all I think about is how Dr. Mel would react if I did something. Oh, like, you're always talking about that. Like, can you let it go for two seconds? We get it, you're women in STEM. But, like, you are all women in STEM. And yet you don't hear us talking about it nonstop. So. Bella? Yes, you! She never shuts up about Bush House! What are you talking about? Who's Bush House? I don't know, but I find it ironic because I think he's a botany professor and his name is Bush in it. I don't, I don't get it. Because well, Bush is a plant. How am I supposed to know? I haven't taken this freaking course. It's Yes. What are you doing on your phone? Texting my boyfriend. Who's your boyfriend? Ethan? Ethan Helm. <laughs> Clark? <laughs> Ethan Clark? Yeah! Do you have any pictures of him? Or, um, I mean, I hear you talking in your room sometimes, but I kind of just thought you were talking to yourself. I don't have any pictures. Do you have any pictures? Is it some of the stuffed animals? No! I- You guys are dead! I don't want it to be in STEM anymore. I don't want to be in science. Ah, he's not real. You're right. Oh my goodness. Why would she even fake something like that? Like, at least make it believable. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I'm so sick of this That's all so the time. Oh my god. They're at each other's so throats like cats. <laughs> and I'm, yeah. sure cats. <laughs> I'm a better cat than James Corden. <gasps> Take that back. I'm not. Parkour! Me, Sophie, and I right now. And I don't know if it's, you can really justify it as tension between Sophie and I because it's really just her being stupid and leaving her window open in the middle of November. Like, my oatmeal shouldn't be freezing in the morning because she leaves the window open. It's so annoying because I'll walk in and I'll have the heat all the way on in my room. Like, to the point where you can boil a turkey in there. And then as soon as I walk into the whole pot, it's freezing. And I'm like, I wonder why. And I look over, I walk over to Sophie's room, and the window's all the way open, and she's sitting there in shorts and a tank top. And I'm wondering, what is wrong with this person? It's okay, because... Actually, it's not okay. Cut the camera. I'm trying to boil a turkey in her room. When I was 
this little girl, um, all the maids that daddy hired were from Russia. And so we always make it really cold in the house so that they would feel more at home, obviously. And so I just like to do that to feel like I'm at home. And it's not my fault that my roommates aren't bougie enough to understand. We have something we have to tell you. What is it? This is an intervention. And for what? Have a seat, sweetheart. It's because of this. Your window is all the way open and it's the middle of November. Oh, what's the problem with that? I'm freezing my butt off. <laughs> Do you not have clothes that you can put on to cover up? I have the longest case of hypothermia. I think you have the shortest sleeves on, so. Yeah, it's because I can't feel my arms anymore. My amputations are next week. Well, put some sleeves on before you start complaining to me. Don't act like it's my problem that you guys can't take it. It is our problem because the whole pod is freezing. I don't know why that's an issue about me. After the toilet flooded again, the water turned to snow right away because that it was so even cold. My fault. How yes, it was. You were the one in the bathroom. I didn't know you couldn't flush dollar bills down the toilet. How am I supposed to prove to my ex that I don't love him anymore if I don't show him <laughs> flush down the money that he gave me? I, I don't know what you're talking about. This proves okay. that you can be rich and have no brains. Of course this is about Okay, you. I've told you a hundred times, yes, daddy paid me in here, but I have to have the brains to stay in here, okay? So that's enough out of you. No, fine, shut the window if you want. I don't even care. I don't even care anymore. I don't care. I'm, I'm just, you're sleeping outside. I'm calling my dad. Stop. Stop the camera. Daddy, I, you just send me some money. What do you mean you can't? No, it, it's, I need my own place. I need to buy like... A house or something to get away from these people. Because I hate them! I hate them! They're so mean! They literally never stop. I, I have my window open and yeah, I have to shut it and it's like negative two degrees in here, but they got so mad at me and they told me to shut it. No, they didn't. I mean, they were kind of nice about it, but no, they told me to shut my window and no one tells what to do. Dad, no, don't! I know you said this was a cool character, but I don't want character. I don't need character if I'm pretty and rich. Stop! <laughs> Dad, no. Don't hang up that. <sighs> All right, who ordered out again? Abby, did you order fast food again? This is the 10th time today. Okay, I know you don't want to hear this, but we're all thinking it, and I feel like you should stop. Like, I know you don't like the cafeteria food that much, but honestly, like, this isn't okay. But it says nice choice. This is okay. like garbage choice. If you could afford that, then that'd be one thing. But don't come complaining to us when your bank account runs dry, okay? Take some chocolates. At least you can afford that. None of those were chocolate. <laughs> Bella. Bella, get out of the freaking bathroom. You've been in there for the past two hours texting your boyfriend. We know he's not real. Bella, why don't you ever listen? What are you even doing in there? I don't care if you're not constipated. Sophie, I'm oh. right here. Oh, oh. Okay, everything I just said, I was just, I was just coming out of you. It's not true. It was a joke, actually. It was actually just a joke. So, you can just forget your poor little face about that. It's okay. It's okay. Mm. Anyways, Ethan, so the other day, um, Sophie was being really mean and... Abby? Abby! It's 12 in the afternoon. Why don't you ever wake up? Oh my goodness. Uh, you don't wake up and then complain that you never get to class and that you don't know what you're doing? Well, figure it out, okay? Don't come crying to us when you're failing every single class that you're taking. This is not buying my way through them. Uh, that's about enough. I told you how it works. I told oh. you a hundred times. You yeah. know how it works. What? You know that I'm sensitive about that and that everyone thinks that about me. So I want you to stop, okay? I can take you in a fight in my sleep. You and think I you're will. so tough, but you don't know what it, you don't know what it's like. <laughs> Every single day. Like, we literally come in here at not even in the morning. It's literally we come back from lunch and we go in to try to get her and she's laying in her bed. Literally, I've never met a person more lazy. She claims it's because of the med she's on, but honestly, at this point, I think it's just an excuse to get to lay in bed all day and not face the consequences. But I've seen her marks, and she's facing the consequences. I don't know what Sophie's complaining about, because, like, our sleep didn't probably as much as Abby. I think Sophie's just a keener and a people pleaser, and she just needs to learn that sometimes you just gotta close your eyes and 
skip a few classes. Me her daddy. What are you doing? I'm just taking what? a picture of my outfit. What are you doing? You're taking another mirror selfie? You do this every freaking day. I know. Your outfit's not even cute today. You're literally wearing something that the school bought for you. Hashtag athlete. Do you have this? Okay. I didn't make the team. Okay, so why do you keep bringing it up? Why do you hate on me for that? Why do you keep bringing up your dad? Okay, if your parents were rich and privileged like mine, I think you'd bring it up too if you were stuck in this dump, okay? I, I didn't even want to play on the team because I'd have to wear those trashy clothes that you're so proud of, okay? Well, you know what? What? I don't know what to say about that. That's 100% accurate. <laughs> oh my goodness, don't. It is true. At the beginning of the year, I did try out for the volleyball team and I went to one tryout. I absolutely killed it. I don't know why he hated me. I honestly think he was jealous of me or thought that I was so pretty that I made the other girls look bad or something. But he got me from the team after one practice. And I was like, I mean, at first I actually replied to his email. I was like, is this a joke? Like, real funny. Because, well, I, I've been playing volleyball my whole life. Like, I mean, I was homeschooled, so it was just kind of like me against my daddy. And he, I mean, he lets me win, but like, I'm good. I'm actually good. And even to prepare for the tryouts, he paid Serena Williams to give me a one-on-one -on -one Zoom call to teach me everything she knows about volleyball. So I don't know how I made it. Like, I'm just gonna show you. I'm good. 